Okay, I've tried to make this video a couple times. I was, um, the first time I made the video, my, I'd been playing around with tool offset so I can use my Heimer to set um, the height off the part, um, which I ended up breaking the probe on that, so that was a $40 screw up. But um, anyway, to, to not have to touch off, which I kind of plunged it in there a little bit, um, I'd been playing with that, and then um, I did touch off because my Heimer's broken, and I went to run it, and it actually ended up plunging right into that uh, jaw, which is kind of embarrassing. I thought I was videoing, and I wasn't. And then the second time I tried to make this, my son, my daughter is sleeping, and I have to listen for her, so I've got a boot stuck in the door because it's got a spring uh, on the hinge and right as I was getting ready to hit go my son pulled the boot out and pinched his finger in the door so I had to get him taken care of and kiss it better and put him to bed because it was his bedtime anyway um, anyway so this thing is uh, I'm kind of scared I think everything is zeroed correctly now um, I'm going to keep my finger over this escape key until it starts looking good. But I also wired in some air. My coolant guy, um, I tried calling him several times, the dealer that, that they hooked me up with, that Qualicam hooked me up with. Uh, I don't know if he's on vacation or maybe just out sick today or something, but I couldn't get him to return any calls, so I'm still using air. But I did go ahead and get this little blast gun um, so I can actually use the air. And hopefully we'll get some... Uh, some blood coolant going soon. Anyway, let's quit delaying. Let's hit start here. See what happens. I'm running at about 3,006, I think, RPM. 200 surface feet a minute, which is like 9.2, I think, uh, on the travels. Uh, 9.2 inches a minute. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. It's going to return, it's going to ask for the tool, oh, it didn't ask for the tool, finger on escape. Okay, looks like we're... Here we go. Okay, that squealing is too much. No, squealing I think they say means RPMs are too high or the feed is too slow. If I remember my chart correctly, um, that was really loud. But let's see the surface finish and get it to focus. Isn't bad. That little burned spot was uh, a screw up when it was plunging in here. This the tool holder kind of touched that. Um, so that's not part of what happened just now. Sorry that camera's at a weird angle. I'm just trying to hold it one-handed and get it to focus. There it goes. Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at that. Maybe I need to re reduce my uh, Spindle speed or increase the feed, which just seems backwards, but uh, we'll give it a try. I, this this camera doesn't have a pause like it like my old camera did, my old phone did. So oh, it does. It's right there. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go change the speed a little bit, and then uh, I'll come back and. We'll try this again with a little bit faster feed rate. Okay, I'm back. I went and I played around with a spreadsheet. Um, I, and actually, um, I was tempted to reduce my speed, um, but what I did was I looked at the chip. I cleared them away and I just ran just really briefly. Um, let's see, it's a really thin chip and they're not blue. So that tells me that they're not too hot. Um, they're, and they're way thin, so I want more of a chip. So that tells me I need more chip loads. So rather than doing the point, what was it, point zero zero seven, basically seven thousandths 
chip load, I guess that would be. Um, I, I bumped it all the way up to a, a one thousandth chip load. Dang it. Shut this off. Of course that kicks on. So anyway, um, that, that's 12.2 um, inches a minute um, instead of the 9.2 I think it was before. So it feels kind of counterintuitive, but I'm just going by the book. So we'll see what happens. I've got my USB drive here with the new code on it. I'm gonna copy, select it, load the code, hit cycle start. Okay. Finger on the escape key. Oh, you know what? I need my air. So it's not going to do anything at all for a second here. Okay, that got more squealy. But it also didn't, the chips are still kind of small. Jesus, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing wrong? Let me, let me think. My same methodology. This is way too hard to film, so I'm gonna just run it really briefly, see what kind of chips it makes, and then uh, I'll make an adjustment. For so it's definitely making more of a chip than it was before. It was just a little tiny hair before. Um, that squealing is driving me crazy. I don't know what else to look at besides bump it up to 14 inches a minute, maybe? See what happens. Luckily, this tool is only a $12 tool instead of a $50 tool or $48 something. Um, so, if I break it, I'll be sad, but not as sad. And I need to figure this out. So, we'll be back in a minute.